Hello, everyone. I'm so excited to be in Vancouver. And it's my first time here. The science world I saw on my way on the main street was so glorious. It made me think. There is so much in the world to draw inspiration from. For me, it's my amazing fiction books, arts and crafts, my favorite YouTubers such as Superwoman Lily Singh and Me Baby, who are known for their amazing videos and their fun-loving quality. Also, amazing music videos, such as the song What Makes You Beautiful by One Direction. <laughs> and my Furby Boom toy, which is a toy that lives with me like my pet. All this inspiration around me gives me ideas and motivates me to keep doing something unique, like to write songs of my own, to make my school notes on cool post-its, to write songs, to learn my favorite school topics, and to decorate my bookshelf. All these things may appear small, but every inspiration from around me encourages me to do something creative and feel very happy and energized. Thanks to being encouraged, I wrote and published a book called Simran's Diary which is about a girl called Simran who goes through many twists, turns, and adventures along with her family, and at a point, she fulfills her dream. Yes, we children should be encouraged to do what we like. In particular, girls should be encouraged more than they are now. Well, at least in my country, and this may be happening in many countries around the world, a real-life example is when girls are made to think what to wear and what not to, and where to go and where not to. We children are born without fear. And this fear of not doing certain things discourages a child to follow their creative interests and likings. Let me tell you, a cycle occurs when children are encouraged. When we children are supported, we do something creative, which makes us feel happy. Seeing this happiness makes our parents delighted to encourage us even more. However, if children are not encouraged, this cycle could be just the opposite. We kids already have so many ideas that add to the world. Instead of asking children what they want to be when they grow up, you should ask them what they want to be now. I think... <laughs> Thank you. I think age is just a number. We can do a lot in this moment, in the present. The problem is, our world has many forces working against the dreams of children. Let me tell you about four things that worry me the most. First and foremost, children are losing their childhood at an early age. Parents don't have enough time for their children in the present moment, as they are busy building a nest for the future. Also, if you look at our schools, the child is made to focus on the examination which will be coming in the future. And so, the child forgets to enjoy in the present moment. Perhaps, if we focus on doing the right thing now, the future will take care of itself. <laughs> My second worry is the limitation of food and water to fulfill our daily needs. We don't have enough water today itself. What will happen in the future? The cost of food may increase so much that the poor may not be able to afford it. A hungry child cannot think about anything other than the desire to eat. Another of my worries is more war and rivalry. Look at the world around us. People are becoming so angry and short-tempered. We children become what we see around us. Instead of going to a war with another country, 
we can think twice and create friendship between two countries. My final big worry is the increasing school fee of different schools. The school fee is already so much. Back in my city, many schools hike their fee every year. What will happen after two or five years? Parents may have to pay millions to get good education for their children. Being educated is a basic right for anyone. And I think the school fee should be such that it can be afforded by most parents. I dream about a future where people think 10 times before increasing the school fee of the school, 100 times before going to a war with another country, 1,000 times before wasting food and water, and 10,000 times before letting their child's childhood go away. I hope you adults can look after the world long enough to give us our chance. I'm hoping to do so many things. I've only started as a writer, as a creator, YouTuber, and as a reader. And wait, how can I forget? As a child. Please help create a world that ensures that all children are healthy, fed, safe, and educated. And please encourage the young people you know to start living their dreams as boldly as possible right now. Why should any of us waste a moment? Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. You know, you Thank just you. you just asked a bunch of adults here to do something really hard, to work hard, so that your future would be okay. And they all stood up and cheered here. <laughs> Is, does that happen when you ask your parents to do something hard for you? <laughs> My parents are always very supportive when I ask them to do something. When I tell them I want to do something, <laughs> they're very happy with what I want to do. Always supporting. Never force me about anything. I have to tell you, they're doing something right. So, thank you so much for starting this, Ted. Wonderful. Thank you.